Welcome to this tutorial about the new diagnostic view of Promovista 500 by Draeger. Within the next four minutes, I will guide you through the concept, operation and the provided results of the special analysis tool. The primary objective of the diagnostic view is to provide a convenient bedside tool, which automatically assesses peep triads by just pressing one single button in order to directly display and quantify indicators of alveolar collapse, over distension and tidal recruitment. Obviously, assessing therapeutic interventions requires the display of trended data, which isn't really a new feature of Promovista. The very exciting feature of this new diagnostic view is a highly elaborated algorithm, which scans the entire trend data for the characteristic patterns of a decremented PEEP trial. To demonstrate how that works, I'll now open the diagnostic view. Firstly, the start page opens up and the algorithm has already automatically defined analysis points, the so-called sections, for each step of the trial. In this example, we will analyze a PEEP trial where the highest PEEP of 14 was stepwise decreased down to 6. If data from a connected ventilator, for example an Evita V500, is available, the PEEP and the end inspiratory pressure will also be displayed in the waveform field. Once we have verified that the algorithm has assigned all sections correctly, we simply press the button PEEP trial analysis. But coming now to the most interesting part, how are the results of the analysis represented? The waveform at the top serves mainly as a navigation aid. It allows us to easily recognize which parts of the trend data are reflected in the analysis. In this example, five PEEP steps have been identified and for each step, the corresponding tidal image is displayed. The series already displays nicely at which PEEP level major lung collapse starts. But this onset of de-recruitment gets even more obvious in the series of images below. Here, the loss of regional compliance toward higher PEEP levels, which indicates overdistension, is displayed in orange color. In contrast, the loss of compliance towards lower PEEP levels, typically caused by lung collapse, is displayed in white color. Next to the maps of compliance loss, the associated parameters also allow a quantification of those conditions. In the diagram, which is displayed at the bottom of this diagnostic view, we see the typical pattern of a properly conducted PEEP trial. We can observe an opposing trend of collapse and overdistension with a clear intersection at a certain PEEP level. If we are also interested to assess the homogeneity of the inspiratory dynamics, we can also display the regional ventilation delay. This parameter provides information about the time lag in each pixel in comparison with the global inspiration. In this view, touching the tidal image will open a new window with an RVD map where yellow color marks delayed regions and green color marks those regions which fill faster in comparison with the average. Delayed filling may be caused by either cycling opening and closing or regionally varying time constants. Thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Pomovista 500 and this new clinical bedside tool, please visit draeger.com slash or contact your local Draeger representative. <laughs>